really think one of the most fundamental shifts is the way people discover content and when you go into a social network versus a traditional network where um, for my clients, they own the pipes of discovery. You know, it was you're in the channel because you were already in that channel and they owned it 100%. When you're in a social network, the way you discover content is not because I've put myself into NBC's channel, it's because somebody has put their content into mine. And it's a nuanced difference, but it's really significant because what happens then is we really have to think about why people engage with content, why they share content, and also, wow, there are all these algorithms and what are they doing to my content? People, um, biologically, developmentally, had reasons why they engaged with content and had to do with survival. It had to do with fixing their place in, in groups and being helpful to those groups and helpful to community. And our brains actually filter material and determine that's something that's important, that's something that's relevant, that's something I want to share. And we're not even always aware of it. As creative people, um, we need to always have in our mind that we're talking to people and how people react to information and how they engage with information and why they engage with information. One of the things that we found in some of our research was that 70% of brand recognition for entertainment brands was directly tied to uh, social engagement. So that is a really big piece. And we also looked at um, ratings and social video engagement, and we found that there was a correlation. And similar to the study Nielsen had done with Twitter, except with Twitter, you're, you're posting and you can't control what viewers are posting, so you can't control buzz. Whereas engagement with your social posts on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, you have an oar in that water and you can create something and you can do something that then people are reacting to. So you are involved. It's obviously not a straight attribution. And so then we break down what are the things that make a post more effective. Um, if it's Instagram and it's still a photograph, we found that your faces, 38% more engagement than not faces. So if you've got a new property, a new show, put the hottie in there. <laughs> you know, don't, don't do the burning palm tree. Um, palm tree for second season, but the first season maybe we're gonna go with a person and maybe if we have 38% more engagement, maybe we should stick with people. So there are numbers of tactics that you can employ to, to be more successful in engaging people. Um, and some of it's, it's not particularly new. One of the things I've pointed out when talking to clients is I've pulled out old film posters, posters from the 40s, and I say, look, they have these same things, and we've lost the thread, and we need to go back, things with contrasting colors, emotion, faces, limited number of people, and so if you're talking about a thumbnail and why people engage with something, these are things that are known, they've been researched, um, humans look at that. That's what will grab attention. And if that is gonna help you have better ratings, well then you ought to do it. Where things are gonna become increasingly interesting is how Messenger plays into things. That uh, finding a way to communicate in a message that really goes direct to that consumer will be very, very powerful. And we've seen it, again, I see it in entertainment at the um, film level in terms of driving ticket sales. and beginning to see it in Europe with ITV has been doing some interesting things driving tune in. And so I really believe that message and messaging is the next thing. And I think you can see that because, you know, Facebook is already thinking that way. That's why they acquired WhatsApp, you know, and that uh, why are Gen Z people on Snapchat primarily as a messaging app. It's that's where I really think people need to understand the purpose. Every platform has a purpose. And, and the purpose that's going to be durable is communication, I believe.